Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So I thought I would talk about the Garmin um, Forerunner 35. So you may have seen a unboxing and kind of like initial review of it that I made and I said I was gonna do like a, a long-term review. Um, so I've been using it now for six, uh, maybe like two or three months. And before that I had the Fitbit Blaze. And you know what? That was a god awful watch and I'd never really enjoyed it from day one. I enjoyed of course like having a watch on my hand and um, you know having like being able to see like calories and stuff like that but uh, and steps and whatever but um, every time I did a run you know it needed uh, I needed to have my phone for the GPS and then there was loads of problems through Bluetooth wouldn't sync things like that and you know I, I would then save the rides or run sometimes and it would come up as like no GPS data, so it didn't even come up on Strava. It's like, oh God, right? Um, things like that happened a lot. And it, like I said, when I went on a run, it meant I always had to like have my phone and I had to like set it up and make sure it synced. And if it usually would say, can't find phone. And you know what, I've, I've tried so many different things. I tried reinstalling the app and you know, I tried like all, all kinds of things, right? Um, and I just never, never had problems with it. Oh, and then the heart rate as well. It relied on purely wrist heart rate. There was no way of getting a heart strap for it. So wrist heart rate isn't there yet. It's garbage, to be honest. Um, if you're trying to do any activity that's not like running, it's garbage. If you're trying to walk, if you're trying to do like a gym workout or a calisthenics workout, garbage. Um, either won't pick up your heart rate or when it does it will fly up and then fly back down things that I just wasn't consistent so um, this watch on the other hand <laughs> on with the positives this watch on the other hand you can pair the Garmin Ant Plus strap so that's what I've done because even on this watch the wrist heart rate isn't good for actually working out it's okay for like looking at it like oh what's my heart rate what's my average resting things like that it's fine but as for um, using it for an activity and like wanting like a, a reliable heart rate get the strap um, I think they're about 30 quid get the strap and pair it to it that's one good thing it does this has built-in GPS and um, it's a bit of a slow GPS you kind of have to like go outside and press it and then it kind of finds the satellite and um, don't really remember the Garmin doing that too much it was very quick maybe that was GLONASS and this isn't GLONASS I don't know but um, anyway apart from that li little niggle it's very quick and I haven't I really had any heart rate problems or anything like that um, going on walks going on runs even using it now on my bike I've got it on my bike the only problem is um, and it's not so much the watch it's more like you know when I'm putting my uh, bag on and I take the bag off it sometimes catches one of the buttons and it will pause it or even sometimes like save the ride or something like that which is a bit annoying but that's obviously not the watch's problem um it's got a lot of good screens on it as you can see the screen is really like is really clear like you can see it with no light on but then you can even press press the light as well um and I've always got the time of day you can change it there's a couple of different clocks I think you can use uh, you can see your heart rate now. Oh, you can even broadcast your heart rate as well. So if you've got the um, the Garmin Edge and I don't know, your heart rate straps broke or something, you can actually broadcast it and then you, your Garmin can actually pick it up. So that's pretty cool. I've used that a few times. Uh, it comes up with notifications from your phone. Like, I don't know, you've just received a Facebook messenger from someone, it will come up or an email or whatever it'll come up. Steps, uh, calories, and then it tells you how many active minutes per week. So we're on Thursday. I've been active for 1,006 minutes. And my goal apparently is 150. I don't know where it got that goal from. Uh, it tells you your last ride or your last run or whatever. Uh, gives you the weather. So it says it's 8C now. Highs of 14, lows of 6. 20% chance of rain. Uh, and then that's it. Back to the clock again. You've got quite a few settings, things like that. Um, you can have alarms on it as well. Um, it's good little vibration instead of, um, you know, if, if you want to get up before your partner or something. Sometimes I've done that in the past to go up for a run, and uh, obviously she didn't want to. She didn't want to wake up, so it's like I haven't made a noise. I've just simply vibrating on my wrist. It's pretty cool. Um, and it's a really good watch. It is really nice. The straps much, much, much better than the. Uh, than the Fitbit, I find it irritates me less. And um, I kind of have it like kind of loose like this, 
but then it's like, oh, if I'm going to cycle, or I'm going to go for a run, I usually tighten it two notches. So yeah, um, over review, I think it was about £130. Uh, the Fitbit was about 150 when I bought it. This is a million times better. It's a proper brand as well, Garmin. Um, I'm not sure if you will have used equipment before, but probably trust the brand Garmin. Um, it comes with a Connect app. It gives you a lot of data. It pairs it with my Fitness Pal as well, so we can show the calories in and calories out. That's very useful, especially for athletes and people who want to make sure that they're either eating enough calories or people who are losing weight want to make sure they're not eating too much, things like that. Um, yeah, it's, it's very good. It's very quick as well. Usually I get home, I press save. It's almost like, bam, it's on my phone straight away. Um, sometimes Garmin has been down, but it's very rare. So, or Strava has even been down, I'm not sure. So, um, very good watch, thumbs up to it. Um, definitely recommend it. I will um, put a link below uh, for, for the link from Amazon. Uh, if you're interested in this watch, I'm not sure if they bought a new one now or whatever, but this is the Garmin Forerunner 35. Um, was gonna get the 30, but the Garmin Forerunner 35 has a few more features, which I figured it was worth paying like 20, 30 quid quid for um so yeah thumbs up to the watch uh give this video re video review a like if you like it or an upvote or whatever uh and subscribe for more and i'll see you in the next video everyone